prison for a period of three months. She was then tried at Canterbury Crown Court and in February 1976, an order was made for her admission to a maximum security hospital. On February the 24th, 1976, Verity... And when I think of it, I sometimes kind of stop myself from crying. Yes, except that she was a little premature, and that wasn't allowed to have her with her for the first week. And she's now nine years old, is that correct? Yes. When did you first notice symptoms of that abnormality in Verity? We weren't thinking about symptoms. We've never considered her to be abnormal. She's just... Your doctor is asking us to see her here at the Child Guidance, guidance Clinic. In his report, he speaks of bizarre and antisocial behaviour. She's a difficult child. Has she always been difficult? What was she like as a small infant? In the village, it's tiny, tiny, tiny. And I'm going to build a big swimming pool. It's going to be right here. And this, this is where all the houses are. And that's where all the horses live. There's a hundred horses. And if they want to, they can gallop through the whole village. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Be careful! You're going to stand on her. I won't, I won't. I'll be careful. What is it? My village. Oh, it's very nice. Clever girl. I'm inside of the castle and nobody else... I want later! I want now! Now, now, now! Please. What? Please. Did you say something? Pardon, I can't hear you! I'm deaf, I can't hear you! Verity. Do as I tell you and put it away. Jean, Do as you tell me. You tell me. It's mine, not yours. My village. You can't have it. I'll ruin it, okay? Verity, I killed stop. them. They're all dead now. You wanted them killed. This month's end of term report. English, composition, 36 out of 50. Comprehension, 72 out of 100. Grammar, 52 out of 100. This morning. Oh, aren't they daft children? Yeah. Hello, you well? What an old day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. And I always get here early. Never seem to get it right. I've been trying to fill this with you. Hey, you don't think they let us in if we ask politely, do you? Oh, I don't know, the headmistress is a bit fussy. Isn't it funny? I'm just as scared of headmistresses now as back when I was in high school. Headmistress of me Yeah, I have heard about her. Sure, it's been a special school. It's a shame. Poor mother. Do you want a sip? Or you can't have any! Do you want a drink of champagne? Michael, come along now! Bye! Bye. Bye. Verity, I'm going. I'll go with this! See if you can catch! Can I bring my friends around my house? I don't, want, I don't want them to know what she's like. But she can't have something that she wants. What's about this old church, Jean? Is that going for bonfire too? Oh yeah, so it are. It's falling apart anyway. This bonfire is bigger than last year, isn't it, Mrs. Taylor? <laughs> That's bigger, Sammy. And we got millions and millions of banners and rockets and catamarans and Roman candles. Bam! Verity, not so loud, join the baby. He's too little. He doesn't get to see the fireworks. Haha, <laughs> silly Nicky. How is the baby, Jean? Oh God, how I remember those middle of night feet. Oh, to be honest, he's good as gold. He didn't even nothing for the past fortnight. Isn't that good for three months? Marvellous. Look at you. She's in good spirits tonight, eh? Oh, she loves fireworks. She's been waiting for this for weeks. Hey, one, Dre. Love you, Dre. I haven't, I haven't. I want to drink that. Can I have some wine? I have some wine. What? I love it yourself. I get a busted. You can have Coke instead. Get some for the other children as well. Where's Mum? Why is he at the party? He's on school journey. I'm the only child, aren't I, Dad? Mum, Mum, I'm the only child. <laughs> yes. Where are we off for tonight, Verity? I'm the king of the castle, and you're the dirty rascal. I'm the king of the castle, and you're the dirty rascal. <laughs> Verity, not so rough. <laughs> what are you crying for? We're having a party. Oh, Lucy, get her. Don't be such a baby. Verity didn't mean to hurt you. Here, Lucy, have some crisps. Can we have the bonfire now? Is it time for the bonfire? Yes, 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 fire, 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 fire. You can't have the bonfire now. We've got to wait till it's dark for the bonfire to be lit. Sausages and baked potato first, eh? Ugh. 
I hate sausages. You behave or you're going to bed. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, there is bacon rolls. There is potatoes as well, but they're not quite done yet. In a minute, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, not potatoes. Bonfire now, now. Fireworks bonfire now, now. Calm down, Shekhar. Tell you what. Why don't you recite your poem the one you wrote last week in school? She yeah, learned it all by heart. That's serious. I bet she didn't write it herself. Verity can't write poems. I did. I did. It's my poem. I wrote it in my book myself. Of course she did. I bet it's very good. Go on, Verity. Listen to the old Mill Creek. The rain falls onto old leaves. Silent ears hear. Suddenly the silence is broken by someone letting off a banner. Swishing through golden leaves, a now hoots. A vole rushes to his home. The whispering dawn comes near as dawn runs out of time. A mo blue moon is out. The sky is dark. As I walk slowly through the wood, crunch, crack, swish, the leaves under my feet make a curl for noise. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Come on, everyone, have some food. Yes! Oh, and while we're eating, I'll start the fireworks, eh? Oh, yes! yes! And I like the fire. Oh, yes! Like the fire, 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 like the fire. The fire, the fire, the beautiful fire! All the time, just swimming and swimming and swimming and swimming. Hello, oh, hello, hello. Come along, class three. Get the chair set up by the swimming pool for our visitors. Now remember, the swimming gala starts at two o'clock sharp. In the whole universe, you're safe in the water. Safe, safe. Safe. When I grow up, I'm going to be Olympic champion, Verity Taylor, gold medalist. I'll be on television and I'll make a speech and everyone will cheer and clap and clap. Woo! And little children will ask me for my autograph. And I'll meet the Queen, and the sun will be shining on the water, and on my gold medal, and on her gold crown. And she'll shake my hand. And she'll love me. Everyone will love me. Verity. One day, I'm going to swim in the English Channel. I'll just go on and on and on. And my dad, he'll be in the boat next to me, feeding me sandwiches and lemonade. And I won't be scared of the waves or the sharks. Only more estates. They won't taste you. It's very late. Very late in the very mountain. Today, I'll win all the prizes in the swimming gala. Mum and Dad will be watching me and they'll be proud as proud. Mark and Nicky are going to wish they were me. At the end I'll just stand there smiling. The winner! The winner! Betty Taylor! The winner! What's your name, girl? Verity Taylor, sir. And where's your swimming cap? I haven't got it. Well, run and fetch it. I forgot it. I left it at home. Go swim then, Verity. You're stupid, Verity. It's not your fault. Mark, don't tease her! You'll have forgotten about it by the morning. Yeah. We'll say something then. Don't touch me! Get off me! Don't touch me! Verity. No! 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 Yet! 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 Verity! Uh, excuse me. Oh, yes. We were told to wait in here. Who did you want to see? We brought our daughter to be... to be... Admitted. <clears throat> as a patient. Dear Mum and Dad, I hope you're all right. If you find a map, you can look at Broadmoor, and you'll know who this place is. Perhaps you could write to me. I get lonely sometimes. So, who sent you in here? The portal at reception. We've been waiting here nearly half an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. We're very understaffed today. I'm afraid it's bank holiday today. Yes. They should have sent you straight to the admissions. You've just come along this way. Come on, dear. Right this way. So, what's your name, eh? Don't worry. I'm sure you tell me later. Verity. The name's Verity. Verity? That's a pretty name. Just right here. Mm. You're patient. I'll be with you in a moment. Right? Thank you. No, no. Bye bye, Verity. 
There's a ward here called the Catherine Ward. You go there if you've done something bad. <coughs> I was sent there for ripping up some linen. It's cold, isn't it? Name? Taylor. E.J. Taylor. Name of patient? Verity Rose. Age? 11 years and 5 months. Date of birth? February 13th, 1955. And, um, name and address of GP? Well, we you do have a doctor's letter from the wrong doctor. Um, he was away for the bank holiday. We had to find another doctor. They all seem to be away. So we should But we do have a doctor's letter, yes. <coughs> Thank you. Let the woman see the assistance registrar. Letter in from your own doctor. Straight on, on, on. Some of the ones here just sit there with no clothes on in a small room. They just sit there. Sometimes they throw themselves about. We say she's ready to be discharged when she isn't any better. Do you think she is? Did you think so today? I know today was bad, Jean, but last time we visited her, she was quite placid. Yesterday was worse for her, but you have to expect it sometimes. Last time? She was on that horrible shock treatment last time. I would have said placid, confused, miles away like a little old woman, not like a child. Why did they do that to her? Did no good, no good at all. They have to use every kind of treatment they can, Jing. Yeah, she has been better some of the time, but if today she, if she comes home now, she was down down. Why should she? Why did they think that? Look what happened when they sent her home for Christmas. But that was six months ago. All my presents smell the old socks! Dad! You've been walking all over my Christmas presents so you didn't stop some! Don't be silly, Bertie. Of course I haven't. It doesn't matter. I don't care anyway. I smashed them all over and chucked them in the dustbin. Oh, Verity. Oh, Verity. Oh, Verity. I'm the female owns dog in this family. I know. I know that's what you all think I am. That's not true. You know that isn't true. Liar, liar, pants on fire, can't get off the telephone wire. I wanted to go to the zoo today. She took Mark and Nicky, but she wouldn't take me. That's because you're a naughty, Verity. You know perfectly well none of us could go to sleep last night. I mean, how many times do you have to tell you to stop all that miraculous noise? You wouldn't be able to go to the zoo. I wanted to play with Nicky. He likes the music. He likes it loud. He loves it. Yin yang yong, yin yang yong hai. Yin yang yong, yin yang yong hai. You needed some sleep, Verity. We all needed to sleep. Now, why don't you be a good girl and go to the kitchen and set up the table? They'll be back soon. Oh, yes, another order. All right, man. Good girl. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, Mark. Did you have a good time? Yeah, I'm smashing. They got a new place for the nocturnal animals. They use infrared light, which could sing it. Well, we'll go again. Where's your mother? Just put Nick to bed. I'm gonna sleep on the way home. Where is she? Hmm? Oh, Verity, she's in the kitchen. Mm. You alright, darling? Yeah, I had a lovely time. Nikki adored it. How was she? Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. Look! Look! Oh my god. <laughs> Verity, what have you done? I caught myself with a carving book. Here's a leg of lamb for tea. Here, Mark, do you want some? Have some. Go on. Get up! Get up! <laughs> So stupid. Spoil everything. Go back to the hospital where you belong. Uh, they're only scratches. We'll put something on them. Come on, Fancy. Alright, Dad. Aren't you a silly little girl? Silly. Silly! I'm not the silly one. I'm not going back to the hospital. You go, you go back there. Leave, leave her alone. Leave, leave her alone. You leave me alone! See, man? I'll wear your clothes and you can wear mine and not think of me. Have a great time in the hospital, Verity! Come on, Mark, we must go after her. Leave her. Go away, okay. Sorry, ma'am. I can't be. I just can't be. Mrs. Taylor, I'm Mrs. Everett, Service Services. Oh, how do you do? Nice of you to come. Would you like some tea? I can't be this day, I'm afraid. I've got three other appointments this afternoon. I don't know where I'll pay my bill later. I've been making inquiries since I had your husband's letter. Wait, I've got disappointing news for you. You can't find it. Show me her breakfast. I should leave her. She's only been here for two days. At least she's finally got out of bed. Hello, Verity. You all right in there? I honestly don't think she should have been placed first. I mean, this is a halfway house, not a mental hospital. 
But it's not fair on all the other kids. We let them think about it for two days. Well, is this what can't feel any bit of compassion for her? Who can? Well, you're the warden, Tom. But I can't help feeling they want me to forget what it was like. Don't touch me! I'll kill you! I'm an assassin for the City of London Police. One hit. Dead! <laughs> Miss Barker said to me, Suck my breasts! <laughs> One hit. <laughs> Dead! Nasty, nasty, nasty. He's a spy, I know. My daughter sent him. Oh, I know. He's Dude. wet himself again, silly old cow. <laughs> Dirty. There's rats in here. I've seen them. Dirty. One hit. Dead! <laughs> what a fag. Have you got a fag? I need a fag. I really want a fag. Haven't you got a fag for me, Moses? I really want a fag, Moses. Don't call me Moses. And again, she is not responsible for her own actions. And now she's been prosecuted of six pounds damaging to a wooden chair. We called the fire brigade, in, fire brigade in by law. No matter how small the fire is, we have to call them in. The police also came in and asked if she was in a fit state of mind to do this by herself. And my opinion was yes. 
Not Halloween, please, anywhere but Halloween, please, not Halloween. I have been with Verity Taylor as medical officer since her reception at Halloween. And after a lot of review, I think she is a dis deeply disturbed girl. Now she's been committed to the Century Crown Court. What's going to happen to her? What's going to happen to her now? We have no choice but to send Verity to a maximum security institution where there, where there are sufficient nurses to every patient. We have no other choice but to send her to Broadmoor. As a psychiatric consultant at Broadmoor, I think that Verity Taylor should be put on a period under the Section 65 of the Mental Health Act of no release until later told by the Home Secretary. In November... Let's go! <laughs> 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 <laughs>